Alright, so this is going to be the first video of a series that I'm going to do where I debunk or solve seemingly easy math questions that turn out to be more of a puzzle than uh, people would think on their first look. Uh, the first one I'm going to be doing isn't a very hard one, and I think it's called Where Did the Dollar Go? Um, but I'm going to start out easy. Um, I know there are a lot of math questions or brain teasers that are along the same lines of this one where there's supposedly a missing dollar, and all the ones I've seen had the same solution to the problem, and that is that the math that supposedly realizes that the, that the dollar is missing uh, is wrong. So you'll see what I mean in this one. I'll, I'll just I'll prove why. Um, there is no missing dollar, basically. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to brief you on the question. Uh, the full question and solution is going to be um, in the description. So you don't even have to listen to the video. You can just uh, read what I have to say in the description if you wanted. But... Um, also, if there is anything that I feel uh, that is complicated to uh, speak about and I need to have it um, drawn out, I'm, I'll am i probably um, just put up pictures um, wherever I see fit. So, here we go. Alright, so the puzzle is that a shirt costs $97. You borrow $50 from your mom and $50 from your dad. So, you borrowed $100 in total. You go and buy the shirt, it costs $97, you get $3 uh, in change. You give $1 back to your mom, $1 back to your dad, and you keep the other dollar. Um, and so now because you you gave your mom a dollar um, and you owed her 50 before, you now owe her 49 and same with your dad. So you owe them both $49 because you give them $1 back each and you originally owed them 50 So. Um, the math that they use is 49, which you owe your mom, plus 49, which you owe your dad, plus the dollar that you kept equals uh, 98 plus 1 equals 99. Um, and basically, that is 1 less than 100, so where's the missing dollar? Um, that, but that math is wrong. You can't, you can't do that. And I'm going to start with an example. Um, let's say that you kept all the change for yourself. You... You pay. You paid. You gave ninety-seven dollars to the store. You got three dollars in change. You kept all three dollars, and at this point, you still owe each parent fifty dollars. Would you? No, I'm just gonna say this. You would not add fifty plus fifty plus three because that would equal one hundred and three, and that just doesn't make sense, right? You don't add what you owe to. You don't add uh, the total amount owed plus the money that you have. The the money that you have is irrelevant. Alright, I'm, I'm going to go um, step by step the easiest uh, way to uh, solve this, basically. It's not really a solution, but it's like debugging the qu or debunking the question. Um, first of all, you don't consider how in debt he is of his parents. If you think of it like this, the store has $97 and all three of them have $1 each. At the end, that's 97 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 100. Done. There. Um, there's no debt calculation needed. Um, now if you think about it like this, um, you took $100 and now you need to pay back $100. You give $1 to each parent, now you have to give, now you have $98 to give back, right? You owe $98 because you originally owed $100 and you gave $1 to each, so now you owe $98. So you owe $49 to each, so 49 times 2 equals 98 there you go that's how much you owe you add up how much you owe to each parent and that's how much you owe in total right like I, I, I just don't know how to make this this one easier but uh, basically you owed a hundred and you paid them back two dollars and now you owe 98 49 times 2 is uh, 98 so there you go that's that's one way to think about it um, actually that's that's two the first one and the second one um, so the 49 times 2 plus 1 is wrong right um, so, another way to think about this is, uh, to your parents, you took $98 to spend. You took 50 plus 50, which is 100, and you gave back $1 each, so you gave back $2. Whatever you do with that dollar that you kept is irrelevant. You could have bought a chocolate bar. It, it doesn't matter. Like, the shirt could have been $98, could have been 97 The point is that, at this point, you took $98 in total, and you, it, it doesn't matter how much the shirt was, you, you add the shirt money plus what you've kept, so now you owe 98. So, now that we've established that that dollar is irrelevant, um, 
you now have 98 to spend out of 100 and you give them the change two dollars so again i'm just reiterating this I, I i have points basically so i'll just read them over again um so you owe 98 not 100 right so you you do 49 times 2 equals 98 um and that's 49 each plus 98 it, again it's it's what you would each of them equals your total amount owed that's you know, that's all you have to think about it um all right so there's another way to think about it um if you add what you no if you take what you initially owed and um that should equal what you owe now plus what you repaid or what you paid towards your t towards how much you owe right so basically you owed 100 at the start um and you owe 98 now and you paid back two dollars so if you take what you owe now which is 98 plus what you've already paid back which is two dollars that is 98 plus two equals 100 there you go that's that's how that's how simple this is um there is no missing dollar the math is wrong um so in conclusion their problem with their math is wrong 49 times 2 plus 1 because the dollar is irrelevant uh yeah i'm gonna be doing more of these so if there are any math puzzles logic puzzles whatever um that you guys know of and you want me to sort of think about and and, and analyze myself I, I i won't google these because um it's sort of stupid anyone could google, google them so i'm just gonna um give my take on it so yeah post any puzzles you have as a link or just the full puzzle in the comment section so yeah